Today we need, you know, we need a string, right? But we don't have any. We need this little tiny, skinny little, you know, something gay, blue stuff, right? I'm saying, but I'm, I'm doing something that I learned from, a, you know, Mexican guys that I used to work with back in Phoenix when we used to trim trees, right? You know what I'm saying? And we ran out of weed your string and we were, you know, working somewhere, right? But he would always do, he'd always keep an extra spool of old, you know, wire, small, thin gauge wire. You know what I'm saying? That which wasn't really good for anything else, you know what I'm saying? Why maybe wiring up the tail lights on his truck or the trailer somewhere and broke. Right? But he kept it there for this reason, right? When we ran out of weed your string, right, he'd just, you know, peel off what was left, get his wire curtains out, you know what I'm saying? Right? You know what I'm saying? Because look, we still got this much. You know, reel, reel themselves, just fix the reel back up. Right? <clears throat> Put it back in the old weed eater. Right? And away we would go. Right? Now, there's the bandages. You know what I'm saying? To doing this. Right? Number one, you know what I'm saying? Wire is a little bit more durable than plastic. Right? Because weed eater string is just basically plastic wire. Right? Number two, you know what I'm saying? It's going to cut through thicker bushes and shrubs. You know what I'm saying? Weed, it's going to nail it down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Number three, right? It's going to last a little bit longer than your, you know, standard normal plastic weed. Your string is going to break every time it hits something big. Right? That's all you got to do. Just line you up a bunch, pop it in there, just like, you know, regular. Put the cap back on. Right? See where we're at here. <laughs> Looks like we're back in business, boys.